find the symmetric equations of the line through the point 1, 0, 3, and perpendicular to the plane x plus 2y minus z equals 6. Now, what do I need to make a line? I need a point and a direction. So what are we given? I'm given my point, 1, 0, 3, so I need to find a direction. Well, we're told perpendicular to the plane x plus 2y minus z equals 6. So what do we get from that equation? Well, if I'm given the equation of a plane, I can get the perpendicular direction, the normal direction, by peeling the coefficients off of x, y, and z. So in this case, we have a perpendicular direction given by 1, 2, minus 1. So that's what we'll use for the direction of our line. Now, having a point and a direction, we can get the vector function for our line by taking our point, adding our direction, times t. So in vector function form, we have r of t equals 1 plus t, 2t, 3 minus t. That's our line. Now next step, symmetric equations. So the reason we can't stop here, so while this does give us the equation of our line, we're taking an outside parameter to be able to define it. So that's what t is doing. So the idea is t is sort of outside of the line. I don't need t to get a handle on our line. So we want to get rid of t in our equations. The way we do that, we're going to set each coordinate to x, y, and z, solve for t, and then I can get rid of the t by just letting what we solve for be equal to each other, and that's what we call our symmetric equations. Now, doing that, what do we have? I have x equals 1 plus t, y equals 2t, z equals 3 minus t. So we solve for each of those. It gives me t equals x minus 1, t equals y over 2, t equals 3 minus z. So we don't have a degenerate case here where we can't solve for one of our variables in terms of t. So the idea then is just let these three items be equal to each other, and that's symmetric equations. Okay, the only thing I have to check is just to see that my point actually satisfies those equations. So we put one zero three in, you know, we'll get zero equals zero equals zero. 